Hey, what's going on you guys? So in today's video, I am going to show you how you can increase your Excel skills using ChatGPT. All right, so let's start. Okay, so I have Microsoft Excel already open from here. All right, so here we are going to start with a simple example and then we are going to get complex as we go along. All right, so here, we have the market for our product and in this side is their associated revenue. Now I want to calculate the total revenue but I'm not sure what function to use. All right, so here if I click on this button here, so here it says type a brief description of what you want to do. So I write it here but as I click go, I don't see any functions here. Okay, now let's go to chat GPT. Okay, so here I will just paste the same question that I had with Excel and here as I click on go, so it is going to give me the exact formula that I need. So I can go ahead and copy this one and paste it over here and I should get the result. And good thing about ChatGPT is it is a conversational AI, meaning you can have a conversation with it just like what you would have with a normal person. So here, for example, if you would say, can you explain this function and how does it work? And ChatGPT is going to explain it to you in a way that you can easily understand. So here it is going to explain what each character does and explains the connection with every character and how do they work together as a function. All right, so here I have another one. So I want to know how much is the profit. So say for example, I didn't know that revenue minus cost would be my profit. So I can go back to chat GPT and in here I am going to write my question. Write an Excel formula to calculate the profit. The revenue is in cell A2 and the cost is in cell B2. And here it is going to give me the formula and also it is going to explain it. All right, so here I will just copy this formula on the top and paste it in this cell and I will have my profit, okay. So this is just an easy addition and subtraction functions. But how does ChatGPT perform with more complex tasks? So let's open up a new worksheet here and let's find out. So here I have a list of cookie types and their prices. Now I want to find out how much is sugar cookie. And here in this information, sugar cookie costs three. So it should return the value of three. So with this one, normally we would use the lookup function. So you can use VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP or a combination of both called index match. All right, now let's try chat GPT if it can help us with this one. So in here, I will just type in my question, write an Excel formula to find sugar cookie in a table and return the price. So I would click and go. And here, sure enough, it is going to give me the formula. So here, it says that I can use VLOOKUP. And down here below, it even gives me the formula itself. So I will just copy this one and bring this up into my Excel. So I'll paste it here. And from this one, N would be the range. So I have a four cell here. So I'm just going to change this to four. And now I will press enter and it returns the correct answer. All right, now let's go back to chat GPT and say, for example, can I use any other functions? And here, is suggesting that I can also use index. So here we have two functions which are index and match. So we can also use this formula. All right, so another example here, if I want to extract the first name from this email address, now I can use a function called flash fill. So I can type here the name and go back. And from this one, I can go to data and here I can press flash fill or I can use control E and it is going to copy the exact pattern. All right, but say for example, I want to know what is a formula to do this one. So I can go back to chat GPT 
And from here, I can say write an Excel formula to extract all the text before the at character in cell A2. So here it tells me to use the left function together with the find function. So I'm just going to copy this one and go back to Excel. Now I'm going to highlight these cells and I am going to paste the formula in here and press control plus enter. Now it gives us all the first names in this email address. Okay, now let's look at another example here. So this one is called unique count. All right, now for this example, I wanna find out how many different cookies are there in this list. So here we notice that there are some duplicates. We have chocolate chip here, uh, we have another one here, chocolate chip, and here another chocolate chip. Now I want to know how many unique entries are there. So let's go to ChatGPT and I write this question. Write an Excel formula to count the number of unique values in a list and it gives me this answer. Now there is also this formula. Now I'm going to copy this one, go back to Excel and paste it here. Okay, now here I need to change a little bit because the first entry in column A is actually the header and not a product. So I'm gonna click here and change this one from A1 to A2 and also this one. And here we have the answer, which is actually correct. Okay, so let's try a more complex task, which includes a little bit of visual basic. So let's go to a new sheet here now for this one, I want to make a simple invoice app that sends emails to these addresses telling them that they owe this amount from the company. So all of the email address from column B should receive an email telling them that they need to pay an amount that is in column A. All right, now for this one to work, we are going to enable macros. So what we can do in here is we can right click from this area and from here, click on customize the ribbon. Now, make sure that this developer option here is checked and click on OK. Now, here we notice that we already have this one here, developer tab. So let's click it and here, let's click on visual basic. Now, go to insert and click on module. So in ChatGPT, you can write your question here. So we can say, write an Excel macro to send emails. Use the following subject, Kevin Cookie Company invoice. Use the following text, you owe the Kevin Cookie Company X. So let's look at the Excel again. So these are the amount. Now we can say, take the value X from column A and send to the email address listed in column B. Now let's look at the Excel here and these are the addresses that we need to send email to. All right, now let's hit enter. And here, ChatGPT gives us an answer. And just like that, we now have the code for this function to work. All right, now what I can do is click on copy code. And if I scroll down below, there is an explanation for this code, which is very good. Also, it mentions here that Outlook object library is referenced in the visual basic. So we need to turn it on. Okay, so going back to Excel, let's go ahead and click on tools, references. And here, make sure that Microsoft Outlook is checked and click on OK. Now let's paste the code in here. And here we can read through and review the code here. So for example here, I found an issue. So my email address are actually in column B. So I am going to change this to B. All right, when everything looks good, you can save this one and let's close this window. Okay, so here click on developer and click on macros. So I have my macro here, send emails. Now I am just going to click on run. Okay, so this should send email to this addresses. Now let's check the email address. Okay, so here I received the email with my custom subject and here the custom buddy, all right. So these are just a few things that you can do with ChatGPT and Excel. I'm sure there's a lot more to do. All right, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.